Why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us, a hero of the people, a true son of Skyrim, a Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjun, but if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Don't wait Damn around the for me. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! 
We should risk letting those mill drink. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. This here's Candle Hall. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Sleep well? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, uh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. See, I knew we could resolve this civilly. A debt owed must be repaid. You understand that. Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. Whoever this is, clear. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Ah! Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? Indeed. For you, my friend, seem to understand what's truly important. When I give an order to spill blood, you follow it. No questions, no remorse. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family, the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. 
It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the black door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Thank you.